Okay, I'm going to give you go to Desmos to give you an idea of how to do this problem. So I'm sharing my screen. Here's a Desmos graph where I've entered the function in the question f of x equals x squared plus x plus 1. We can set the left and right endpoints to 3 and 7 respectively. So there's the graph of the function. And there is the uh, the rectangles that are being used to estimate the area under the curve. We can specify the number of intervals, which if I increase the number of rectangles, I'll get closer and closer to the true area. But we had five for this problem. And if I scroll down, you can see that you have a choice of using setting c equals zero for left hand sum one for right hand sum and you can actually do a midpoint sum and then this is your estimate right here 147.36 for those values and what are we actually doing here well w was calculated down here under formulas as b minus a over n which is this is the width of the interval from 3 to 7, which is 4, divided by the number of intervals 5, that's 0.8. So that's the width of each, W is the width of each subinterval. S sub i is uh, the values that we're using along, these are the, those are the right-hand endpoints in this case. 3.8 is the right-hand endpoint of the first rectangle. 4.6 is the right-hand endpoint of the second rectangle and so on until we get to seven. If I use left-hand endpoints, you'll see that those values change. If I change this to zero, left-hand endpoints, then the left-hand endpoint in the first rectangle is at three, and then everything increases by 0.8. F of S sub i is the height of each rectangle. So I'll change this back to left-hand endpoints, or right-hand endpoints, sorry. Uh, and so these numbers are the height of each rectangle. And then if I multiply f of s sub i sub 1, which is just the, the le first left right-hand endpoint, the second, third, the fourth, the fifth, uh, I'll get the area. And out here I have the w column showing 0.8. So if you need to actually calculate the area of each rectangle, that's what these values are. And then if you add them together, you have the estimate, which is this number right here, 147.36. Of course, if you use left-hand endpoints, that number changes. It's an underestimate of the true area. And here's the actual area right here, close to 129 and a third. So using just five rectangles, uh, we don't get real close to the true area. But if I increase the number of rectangles, then that area starts to get closer and closer to the true area of 129.3. <clears throat> okay, so you can use this uh, graph if you want to help you answer questions like this. And this table you can adjust by adding new numbers here and uh, that basically is increasing the number of rectangles but it's showing the calculations okay uh, <clears throat> so let me get rid of these and uh, let's see change this back to five whoop And I'll save that graph and send the link. There you go. Hope that helped. And uh, if you have any questions, post a comment.